In this project, we will program the ESP32 CAM using Arduino IDE and stream the video over Wi-Fi network. The ESP32 CAM is a small and cheapest camera module that costs around $10 and it comes with an ESP32S chip which has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability. It also has an OB2640 camera module and micro SD card slot which comes in handy to store the images taken with this camera module. So in this tutorial, we will use the FTDI module to program the ESP32 cam board. And beside this, we will go through its features, pin description and also set up the Arduino ID for ESP32 camera module. Then we will use the ESP32 camera web server example code from the Arduino ID and stream the video over Wi-Fi network. So these are the components required for making this project. We will need ESP32 cam board or FTDI module, few female to female jumper wires, a USB cable. Now let's talk more about this ESP32 cam. This is a small camera module with ESP32S chip. The module has an OB2640 camera and it also has many GPIOs for external connection. This ESP32 CAM module is developed by so many manufacturers but the board developed by AI Thinker is the most popular one. This ESP32 CAM is based on 32-bit CPU controller with a frequency of 240 MHz. It also comes with an onboard voltage regulator. But unfortunately, it has a reset button at the bottom of this module which makes the module breadboard unfriendly. The module comes with an LED that can be used as a flash LED by programming the board. At the back side of this module, we can see the PCB antenna. The camera module is the most important part of this ESP32 cam. We can use the OB2640 camera module having 24 pins. The gold plated 24 pins connector strips lets you to connect this camera with the ESP32 module. Simply push the little slide in the opposite direction and then you can observe the pins for connecting the camera module. Insert the camera facing the gold plated pins downside and then pull the slide. After successfully inserting the camera into this module, it is ready to use. On the other side, there is an SD card holder which supports a micro SD card up to 4GB. It can be used for storing the captured images. To program the ESP32 CAM board, you need USB to TTL converter module or an FTDI module. We can find so many FTDI modules available on the CP2102 and CP2104 chip, but in this project, we are going to use FTDI module. So here is the connection between ESP32 CAM and FTDI module. Connect the 5V and GND pin of the FTDI module to 5V and GND of ESP32 CAM. Similarly, connect the RX to UNOT T and TX to UNOT R pin of the ESP32. And the most important thing, you need to sort the GPIO0 and GND pin together. And for this, I am going to use female to female jumper wire. This put your ESP32 cam into programming mode and once the programming is done, you can remove it. To program this board using Arduino IDE, you need to follow these steps. In your Arduino IDE, go to the file and then preferences. Simply copy and paste this URL in the additional board manager URLs as shown here. If you have already installed other board manager like ESP8266, then simply enter the comma to separate the different board URLs. Now open the board manager. To do that, go to the tools, board and board manager. Search for ESP32 and press the install button. Now the ESP32 add-on is installed on your Arduino IDE. Now to program this ESP32 CAM, go to the files menu and then select the examples. From the examples menu, select the ESP32 camera and camera web server sketch. This is the basic example code of ESP32 CAM web server for video streaming. And this code is very complicated due to so many files. You just need to modify the code by 
on commenting the ESP32 to cam module. If you are using the ESP32 cam from AI Thinker, simply on comment the AI Thinker part and comment the rest of the other part. You also need to change your Wi-Fi network credential like SSID and password. Now here, I am going to configure this ESP32 cam module in a AP mode so that we can connect to the ESP32 cam when there is no Wi-Fi network available. So let's do this. Go to the tools and select the ESP32 board and from the list select the AI Thinker ESP32 cam. Now connect the FTDI module to your computer and select the COM port. Finally, you can upload the code and the code will take more than a minute to compile and upload. You need to press the reset button once the code is compiled and ready to be uploaded. Once the code is uploaded successfully, you can open the serial monitor. Meanwhile, if you press the reset button, you will see the device in a downloading mode. So, in order to disable the downloading mode, simply remove the GPIO0 and GND jumper wire. Now, again press the reset button so that your ESP32 cam will be configured in a AP mode. Now, simply connect to the ESP32 cam AP Wi-Fi network by entering the password and you can enter the IP address on the web browser that is 192.168.4.1 now you will find all the camera settings on the left side and simply explore each settings manually to know more about it at the bottom of the web page you can see there is an option to live stream you can click on the live stream option to see the video not only that, you can also maximize the resolution using camera option. You can move the camera module to see the video footage. The video data is live and you are observing it on your local web server. There is an option called get still to capture the images as well. It will store the capture images on the SD card. Beside this, you can see the face detection. We will talk about this topic later on next video. And you can also see the flash button. By turning it on, you can on the flash of the ESP32 cam module. Here I have designed and printed the ESP32 cam enclosure and a holder so that I can place it anywhere and use as a surveillance camera. So here is the demo of this project. So this is how you program the ESP32 cam to stream video over Wi-Fi. The advantage of this project is you can use the ESP32 cam as a surveillance camera. You can place it outside of your house and use it as a security device. I am going to use this device on my farmhouse and I can monitor my farmhouse remotely from my home. So I hope this project was helpful for you. If the project was helpful, simply subscribe to this channel and hit that like button.